This is an SRD drill sharpener. It's made by Service Precision Grinding. This thing can handle 1 16th inch drill bits up to 13 16th drill bits. Um, the cutting angle can be adjusted from 85 degrees to 160 degrees. And the relief, relief angle can be varied from 0 degrees to 20 degrees. This unique chuck allows it to accommodate a wide range of drill bits. I'm going to do this one handed. I'm going to take this drill bit out. As you can see as I turn this, it opens up and accommodates larger bits or down to very small bits. Again, it goes from like about a sixteenth to thirteen sixteenths. Runs on 110 volts. This knob over here advances the cup wheel. This is the control block that the chuck sits on. And there's a stop. So when you put it down, the chuck is up against this back wall here and this stop. So it's very repeatable. And the way it's set up is you, you uh, sharpen one side, which is one, one cutting edge, and flip the chuck over and do the other edge. And it's very symmetrical. The uh, control block is on a slide, a very nice precision slide that operates very smoothly. There's an adjustable stop. I now have it all the way out, but that can be advanced in and locked in. There's a series of angles you can set the uh, control block to for the sharpening process. And there's a setting here for, um, it gives you three choices, A, B, and C for, I believe, various uh, relief angles. It's very high RPM. This motor runs at 5,000 RPM, so it gets a really nice finish on the drills. It's bench top. Doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Nice machine. I'm going to sharpen a 9 30 second drill. Now you start out by placing the drill on the chuck and you line up the cutting edges with the scribe lines on the chuck and extend it out a little bit. It doesn't It's not very critical. Get that just right before I tighten it. That's about right. Okay. I've set the control block to 118 degrees, which you can adjust by loosening up the set screw down here with a eighth inch Allen wrench. Now I'm going to be sharpening this on the inside of the cup wheel. I have to adjust the position of the wheel, the left hand side knob. I got just a little bit of contact there, so I'm going to turn it on. We're going to sharpen one edge. We're going to turn it over to the other edge and we'll advance the uh, cup wheel a little bit at a time until I get a full grind and we'll show you that.
Okay, I'm happy with that. So, it's a faster process when you have a, a drill bit always been sharpened to the machine and the, and the geometry is the same. This was an older drill bit, but now I've got nice sharp cutting edges, beautiful finish. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put a, um, make it a split point and we're going to thin the web out. So to do that, you loosen the control block, set screw again, and you move it to a different position, the 85 degree position. And in this mode, you're actually using the back side of the wheel to do the grinding. And, as, as, and also, we have to rotate the drill 90 degrees. So we'll make those cutting edges about 90 degrees to the scribe lines. If you can see that. And you have to change the location of the cup wheel. So if you can see that now we're working on the back side of the wheel. We got a nice sharp point. If you can see that or not. Sharp cutting edge, nice sharp point. Now just like the uh, primary relief angle, um, if this drill already been had its uh, web thinned out or split point geometry set up. Um, the grinding process would be faster. Here's some other drills I've done in the past. Makes for nice sharp drill bits. Um, fast cutting. You can even avoid having to do a pilot hole sometimes. Most of the time. I mean, that's the machine.